All right, you guys, last topic. Um, Jazz Waters, a.k.a. Jazz Fly, um, she's a writer. I can't think of the shows that she's done, um, but she's like a pop and writer. I remember her being on this show with – I remember her actually being on a reality show with um, Angela Yee and then also – uh, the girl from Hot 97, and it was supposed to be, like, following around, like, bloggers and, like, women in actual media. Um, but anyway, she was on the Brilliant Idiots podcast, and she talked about how she had got arrested at one point because they were talking about if there were any arrests, and she admitted that she's supposed to serve 90 days in prison, but somehow she ended up only getting a night in jail. Um, but while she was there, she ended up meeting a girl who was, like, uncontrollably crying, and so um, a girl had, another girl that was, like, in the cell with them had went to talk to her, and um, she said when she came back, um, Jazz asked her, like, is she okay? And then the girl was like, fuck her. Like, she just found out she has HIV, and she's still out here prostituting. Or, no, she was arrested. Um, she already knew she had HIV, and um, after, I mean, before she had got arrested for prostitution, so now she's getting, like, attempted murder uh, charges, but also um, the girl was saying that she didn't fuck with her because she was um, the girl to have Marlon Santana set up. And if you all don't know Marlon Santana, who was the Dominican actor that played on the Steve Harvey show, he was murdered um, back in the day when he was, like, pursuing, like, a rap career in 2002. And, um, yeah, so, like, a young girl had basically – her name was Monique Monique King. She basically made it seem like I want to say that she was like um, raped or something, but they found out that she um, they found out that she had had the boy set up, and so she ended up getting charged for that. But somehow she got out, you know, and she ended up being a prostitute, and she ended up getting HIV, and she ended up still prostituting. And now I think she's still in prison, but it's just crazy, a crazy story. And I thought it was really interesting. You know, but bitches was gonna get karma. They gonna get that damn karma. Now you were suffering. So what did you think? Do you remember Marlon Santana? What's his name? Was it like Freddie, Frankie? What was his name on the show? On the I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not 100 percent sure. But I do think that, um, yeah, I think yeah, karma. That's that's what it is at the end of the day. If you set people up, you get people killed. You know, sometimes karma don't come and you know, the way you want it to come, you think that, shit, man, I'm going to get, you know, killed too, you know, or, or this and that. Or you may not even be thinking about it. And next thing you know, you haven't. As soon as you get done having sex with the wrong person at the wrong time, now, bow, you have HIV, you going to jail for the rest mm-hmm. of your life. I mean, it's a mess. Your whole life just turned upside down because you wanted to set somebody up and be foolish when you were, you know what I'm saying, younger. So it always comes yeah. back around. That's why you just – and that's what – you know, that's what people, they say, like, don't worry about it. You know, like, karma's a bitch. Like, don't you don't sit back and try and get even with people because life is going to catch up with them. You know what I'm saying? That That is true. It really is true. People, they can look like they're on top of the world. Everything is happening. Everything is going good. And next thing you know, you get caught in a situation that can lead to a lifetime in jail and a lifetime of, you know, prison as far as your body goes. You Your body is in prison for until you die. Mm-hmm. Uh, sucks for her. You shouldn't have had somebody killed. Right. Yeah. No, I, I agree. Yeah, I that. Also, it's just sad. Like, I was just thinking, like, damn, like, where would you at in your life, like, to be kicking it with this Hollywood actor and be like, I'm going to set this nigga up. And then, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. end up and It's just a really interesting story. But it is, you know, sad on both parties. You know, rest in peace to Mother Santana. Why can I think of this man's name? Was it Frankie? Mm-hmm. It definitely started with the F. Um, Romeo? Yeah. Romeo! Where the fuck I get Frankie from? Where the fuck, where the fuck did I get Frankie from? Romeo! Romeo! But I remember I think he was so fine. Even when like, he was on the Cosby show and I used to watch the reruns, I was like, damn, that's a good looking man. Like, for real. Wait, like, I don't know. even know who Romeo is. Romeo is the brown skinned one. He, the Dominican. You know who he was. He was, he was. Oh, like, yeah, was yeah, damn, yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that's fucked you're up, so that's fucked up. Yeah. yeah, bullet head, bullet head, mm-hmm. 
Right, right. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. 